Hi guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I am going to be digging up my antelope that I shot last year. It's literally been almost a whole year that he's been buried. Um, and then I'm also going to bury my shotgun buck. So you're going to get to see kind of like the process that I do for European mounting. Um, my buck was not big enough to shoulder mount, so I'm just going to do a Euro and my antelope. I just didn't keep the cape or anything. So anyway, it's going to be interesting um, for anyone who has never like seen the process or anything. It could be a little gruesome. I'm going to do my best to keep it relatively clean, but um, basically what I do is I like to let nature do the, most of the work. Um, I just bury the skull in the ground and let the bugs kind of go and pick off the skin and the meat that's still attached. Um, and for the most part, depending on the time of year, if it's still hot out, like probably within a month, um, they're usually picked off pretty clean and then you can just kind of like power wash all the dirt off. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. It should be clean by now. It's been a year. Hopefully there's no damage to the skull, but, um, that's just what I like to do. So let's do it. All right, so I'm going to get my deer head out first so he has time to kind of thaw out a little bit. Um, I just kept it in the freezer. I don't know if this stays up right. Okay. <laughs> it's like frozen in place. I might be able to get it though. He's not that big, so... Stay. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit in the sun for a little bit, kind of thaw out. So we'll start with the antelope. Shovel. Now I have it in my backyard, but I got to remember, I forget if it's this tree. No, I think it's this tree over here that it's by. Ah, yes. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that the caps are loose, like I could just pop these off. Oh yeah, nice and gross. I'm gonna have to clean that pretty good. It's moldy and stuff. But that's okay. Oh, I had it tied fast so nothing would drag it away. Not that that would have mattered, I guess, but. So for anyone that didn't know, fun fact, these things fall off. But I'll just like glue it on or something. So let's start digging. I'm kind of hard, so. Normally I would not leave it buried this long, but I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Just trying not to damage anything. It looks like a triceratops.
right, so I definitely don't recommend leaving it in that long because they took his bottom jaw off. There's like a termite mound in it. Nice and moldy. Then, we'll get them cleaned up. sheath on it. This guy. So he's a little gross looking, but we're gonna go hose it down, clean it off. Termites took some teeth out, but that's okay. I normally would not let them out for that long, but I genuinely forgot about it because I shot him early so I forget if it was September or October but um, you know came home buried him and then I was hunting the rest of the fall and then the ground froze so I was like oh, I'll just get him get him in the spring and then I was turkey hunting and all these things just happening I just kept forgetting to, to do it so I was like you know what <laughs> I should probably do that so we're gonna go get him cleaned up and then I'm honestly probably gonna put my white tail right back in um, right there so we're gonna thaw out him and then while we're cleaning this guy and then I'll come back. Might need to get a brush to scrub it down. Sometimes I'll take them to the car wash, like the yourself ones and just hose them. They get a lot better pressure than I can. I got a brush and some soap. Okay, so I got some bleach solution that I'm just gonna spray to kind of kill the mold. And yes, you should probably wear gloves. I'm not going to because I'm just going to rinse it off really quickly. do some dawn and then I'm just gonna like scrub it down So this like piece right here, I'm gonna peel that off because I think that's still some like skin and that could go kind of gross. Okay. Oh 
more good rains. Okay, so these locusts are gonna be a little extra. Um, so while my antelope is drying, and I know a lot of you are probably like, ew, that doesn't look good, it's yellow. It's because I left it in the ground too long. Um, if you do it about a month or two months, it's gonna have a slight yellow stain just from the dirt, but you can bleach it. Um, if you go to like a beauty supply store and get women's hair bleach, um, I think 40 volume, don't quote me on that, I think 40 volume, um, bleach or toner or something, I don't know enough about dyeing hair, but if you get hair bleach, you can bleach the skull and it will be more white. So I personally don't care that much about it, but um, I'll give you an example of a different buck that I had buried for a month and the coloration that it has. I think it looks pretty natural, which I like. I don't like the bleach white look personally, but teach their own. So um, I'm gonna unbag this. Hopefully he doesn't look too gross and then bury him. Okay, so for white tails, I recommend the same thing. Like you bury him for about a month. Um, and white tail antlers are made of very high calcium concentrate so squirrels and rodents love to chew on them which is why a lot of sheds are chewed on um, so i recommend putting like a tub or something over top so that they can't get into it um, because you really just want bugs to be on the skull um, so that's just a little tip but also just be careful of the sun like obviously antlers bleach too um, so if you get a tote, make sure it's like not see-through so that they don't get bleached. Um, but essentially what I like to do is like when I shoot a deer or whatever, I let the head sit out for a few hours. Obviously it shouldn't be frozen. This, this is for sure still frozen, but um, like if you just shoot the deer, bring it home um, and let it sit out for even just an hour um honestly the hotter the better because then the the flies and bugs are gonna like smell it and get to it quicker and you want them to lay eggs on it which obviously this isn't necessary but it definitely helps speed the process up if you know for sure that there are bugs on it otherwise it might take like say an ant colony for example it might take them a while to find it so anyway my box has been frozen so we're just gonna probably should just let him thaw really. Okay, I'm back. It has been several hours, pretty much all day. Um, I let my buck kind of sit out in the sun, get smelly, <laughs> and uh, I just walk past and there's definitely flies on him, which is a good thing. Um, so typically what I would do is cape out like the skin from the head and then just cut away as much as I can. Um, I'm not gonna do that in this case because I don't really have anywhere to put the skin. Like I could throw it in the trash, but we just had trash day this morning, so it would be sitting rotting for a whole week and I just don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna bury the whole thing and kinda hope for the best. Um, so maybe it'll be okay if it sits longer than a month. So literally just like this, um, and what you're gonna do is like let the antlers stick out of the ground, but the rest would, would go down. Um, his ears kind of are in the way, but that's all right. Bugs don't really eat hair, so there's probably gonna be a lot of cape left, but that's all right. Um, so we'll bury it, and then I'm gonna put a tote over top of the antlers so they don't bleach and get gross and chewed up. And then we wait. So the last thing I want to show you guys is um, my buck that I had done. This is the first euro that I've ever done. 
So this is my Missouri buck from a few years ago. And this is the one that was in the ground for, I seriously think it was only a month, like four weeks. And then I dug it up to check on it and it was literally clean. And then all I did was pressure wash it and I put a little bit of bleach on it, but I didn't really notice that it did anything. Like it's definitely got like some staining. It's not perfectly white, but personally I like that look better than the pure white because I just think it looks more natural. Um, but here is the comparison of my antelope. So you can see this is obviously a lot more stained, um, like orangish yellow, which honestly I don't think is terrible. I, I really don't, like that doesn't bother me. He's a little dirtier. <laughs> um, but I think that's just simply from being in the ground so long. But I think after a year, he looks pretty good. I think these got a little, like, sun rot. But, um, you could probably paint over it if, like, that bothers you. But, like, I seriously think if you get, um, if you get it in the ground when the, when the weather's still, like, fairly warm. Warm enough for bugs to be out, then you should have no issues. So, anyway love this guy but um and I looked up the um bleach processing stuff salon care 40 volume cream developer <laughs> so basically it's meant for hair but it works good because it's like a lightning agent slash bleach so so thanks for watching guys. I know this video is kind of random, but I just literally forgot that I had my antelope buried and I was like, oh, we're starting to hunt already. I should probably dig him out of the ground before the ground freezes again. <laughs> so that was, that was the spur of the moment decision. So anyway, we literally start hunting next week. Um, I'm going to bow hunt this, this antelope I shot with a rifle. Um, if you guys want to check that video out, if you haven't already. Um, it was pretty exciting, honestly. Um, but I'm gonna bow hunt this year and hopefully it goes well. I really don't have my hopes up too high because I hear it's very difficult, but um, I'm pretty persistent, so we'll see. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next antelope video.